Hello everyone. Uh, today we shall observe how to implement artificial neural network to model the IV characteristic of PN junction diode. So, as you already know, the relationship between the current and voltage of a PN junction diode is non-linear in nature. That means if we plot the current versus voltage, then you can see this type of graph, which is typical exponential in nature. Okay. So, as you already know that the current equation for diode can be represented by I equal to ID into e to the power Q by KT minus 1. Okay. Now, Consider a scenario where we don't know the actual current equation for the diode, but we have the experimental voltage and current reading. Okay, so can we predict the voltage, sorry, the current for an unknown voltage across the PN diode? Okay, so that is the problem. That means we want to find out a model that can predict the value of current for different voltage across the PN diode. Okay. And uh, for the modeling of this PN junction diode, uh, we have used the artificial neural network. As you already know that ANN can, is very popular uh, machine learning tools that can be used for the classification as well as the prediction purpose. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, so as you know that uh, for to train the artificial neural, neural network, we need some kind of data. So here you can see the in the Excel file, these are, these are the data. So voltage versus current. So you can get this reading from your own experimental setup. Okay, so here we got uh, total 20 number of different voltage as well as the uh, corresponding current value for the P particular PN junction diode. Okay. And if I plot this type of graph can be obtained. Now we want to model the IV characteristic of PN diode using artificial neural network. So we have data and obviously you can train the artificial neural network. So let's find, let's see the code uh, to, to use or to implement the artificial neural network for this particular problem here we have used the MATLAB okay so <clears throat> let's see the code uh, here uh, CLC clear all close all okay uh, which are used to clear the your screen and also clear the all type of open windows as well as the different variables okay and here we have used another syntax or command that is the rand seed zero uh, so the use of this uh, command uh, will be implemented uh, will be expressed uh, later okay now uh, we have defined the voltage like this way so v is the array of the defined voltage okay just what we have done we have just uh, transposed this matrix okay so 0.23 up from up to 0.58 okay and here we define the current so just <clears throat> you can uh, take a uh, copy from here and paste and transpose the matrix so we have defined the respective current uh, in the variable i now we defined uh, a neural network structure okay so to to define the neural network structure we have used the uh, uh, syntax that is the feed forward net okay now <clears throat> to in case of feed forward net neural network uh, we have uh, there is also hidden layer okay so hidden layer is used uh, to get the better prediction result or to introduce the non-linearity non between the input output relationship okay so uh, here we define the uh, <coughs> uh, neural network structure as that the neural network consists of input layer and output layer and in between the input and output layer there is two hidden layer and in each of the two hidden layer uh, there is two node on each of them 
okay so basically you can change uh, the value like if you use this like 5 5 that means it indicate it will indicate that uh, uh, it will indicate that uh, the uh, the neural network structure has two hidden layers okay and uh, five node on each of them okay so <clears throat> depending on in the application the user can change the structure of the feed forward neural network like this way okay next there are lots of funs training function are there so we can change uh, the different training function here we are using scale conjugate gradient training function so for that purpose we define net dot train fcn equal to train scg okay so this is the default value and uh, to measure the performance of the neural network during the training uh, we have used the mean squared error okay so depending on this value the <coughs> performance of the uh, neural network training will be measured okay and uh, there are also other different type of performance functions uh, we can change them okay and every ms is the by default value okay so to change them just uh, um, uh, you can type help in in, in performance then you can uh, see different kind of uh, error function or different kind of uh, performance function for that okay now next of so we have the uh, training data and we define the neural network structure and we also define the defined type of training function that should be used during the training now we need to train the neural network so to train the neural network we have used this kind of syntax so train net vi so net, we defined neural network uh, uh, we define this like net so which is nothing but the uh, a neural network that consists of uh, two hidden layer with two uh, nodes on each of them and uh, for that uh, to train that ne neural network we have used uh, the input as voltage and output as the current okay so uh, so we have used like this train vi okay so and, uh, so, and uh, um, after that you can visualize the neural network structure by using this view net okay uh, so up uh, so after this uh, running of this um, syntax okay <clears throat> the all the stored value all the calculated value of different weight and bias is already stored in the respective neural network structure that is the innate okay now uh, we want to find out what will be the predicted value by using the trained neural network so for that we uh, use uh, we can uh, calculate the output current for the similar same value of diode voltage and uh, we can store them in the respective variable i underscore cal okay so net v that means for the value of defined voltage we use the uh, trained neural network for the prediction of the current okay so in the uh, variable i underscore cal all the predicted value of the diode current has been stored okay next let's see or let's compare the actual vi curve with the predicted vi curve okay so for that purpose we use this syntax plot v i r okay for the actual and whereas we use another plot v i cal uh, underscore cal blue which is uh, which, whose graph is blue so that indicate the predicted iv characteristic okay so that's all from the uh, code for the modeling of IV characteristic of PN junction diode using artificial neural network and uh, let's run it okay so you can easily observe the respective output okay so I think the program has been running. Yes, it has. <coughs> Sorry. So yes. So here you can see that this one, uh, this window will come during the training. Here you can already uh, uh, see that uh, training for we use that function scale conjugate gradient and for performance measurement we use MAC 
and uh, for epoch 41 epoch or 41 iteration has been performed okay <clears throat> and, uh, and these are the, the value of the mec 9.63 into 10 to the minus 6 7 sorry okay and this one is the feed forward neural network structure here you can see that input this one is the input layer and this one is the hidden layer one hidden layer two and this one is the output layer okay so obviously input layer is nothing but the voltage and output layer is nothing but the current so that's why input is mentioned as one and output is also mentioned as one and you can see that there is written as two uh, just below the hidden one block so that means there is two node in this neural network structure and in the second hidden layer structure there is also um, um, two hidden node okay and this one are the wb that means wait for each node bash for each node all those things are there and during the training the optimal value of this weight and bias are calculated so that we get the minimum msc okay and we get the uh, actual output okay and this one is the output here you can see that in the blue curve is shown the actual IV characteristic of PN junction that can be obtained by using experiment in the laboratory. Okay. And whereas the blue curve is shown, sorry, red colored shown is the actual curve. Okay. And this one is the blue curve. Okay. Blue curve is the actually predicted IV characteristic using ANN. So ANN predict the blue curve. You can see that this one um, ANN is ANN predicted the current quite symmetric with the actual value okay and thus we can conclude that NN can be successfully used for the modeling of IV characteristic of PN junction diode okay so thank you so if you have any question regarding the code of the MATLAB for this prediction of the IV characteristic stroke diode so you can uh, post your query in the message section and obviously you can use uh, NN for the uh, modeling of others electronics device also like the for the modeling of solar cell uh, solar cell panel mosfet transistor etc etc okay so thank you